Hey guys, well, it's that time. I am doing a package haul. It is a Monday, a boring Monday. It's pretty cloudy out, kind of boring. So I am going to do a package haul. So I make sure it's recording. Okay. So I have some things from Target and just a little bit of stuff. I just want to share it today. <laughs> so the first thing I am opening, oh yeah, I saw this on Target and I had to get it and I'll show you why. Guess what it is, folks? It's a back streets back shirt. I got it from Target. I don't know if you can see it. And it was only $14.99. And they have a shirt kind of like this on the Backstreet Boys website. And it's like way a lot. It's, I mean, but this was $14.99. And I picked it up in the store so I don't had, I don't, I didn't have to pay for shipping. And this is nice. Backstreet Boys shirt. I don't, I hope it fits. Look at that. Look at it. Woo. Backstreet Boys. Yes. You know, Target, I have to, I occasionally go and like do searches for stuff because they got a lot of good stuff on online, but you can't get it in the store. So there's that. That's going to be great. I can't wait to wear that. That's going to be awesome. Okay. I got a CD from Target. I don't even remember what it is, but I'm fixing this to find out. Oh, okay. This, and the case is cracked. What the heck? This is Pentatonix. The case is cracked. But this is Pentatonix. I actually like them. They're pretty good. If you like like acapella stuff they're really cool like back in the day when i was like in middle school i liked um like when i was in about seventh grade i i started listening to um take six and um i really like them i have i've seen take six before in concert but uh if you like acapella kind of music this has got 11 songs on it. I can't wait to hear this. Pentatonix. Their Christmas albums are really good. I've got all their Christmas CDs. But this is like the first. Like pop of their CDs. That I got of the just regular music. So that's going to be. I can't wait to listen to that. And then I have another CD. Um, I'm just going to rip it open. I don't even remember. Oh, okay. This I got from Target. This is... The CD case is cracked. What the heck, Target? It's cracked. This is Gabby Barrett. She was on American Idol... Um, and I thought this looked like a good CD. I heard some of it. It's called Goldmine. And it's got 13 songs on it. So, I'm looking forward to listening to this. Goldmine. Gabby Barrett. Okay, Target. That's two cracked CDs. What the heck? Okay, I got another Target bag. I forgot what all I got. Okay, this is a friend's sweatshirt, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wear it now because 
it's getting warm. Tomorrow is going to be in the 40s, apparently. And then the rest of the week is going to be in the 60s and 70s. Actually, this is not a sweatshirt. This is just a, just a long sleeve. Oh, it's a stinking... It's a stinking half shirt. This is a front... I don't like half shirts. Oh, well. I have to wear something underneath it. But it's a friend's shirt, and it says Central Park. I hate half shirts. It's hard because Target's dressing rooms are closed so I can't try the things on so it's kind of you know frustrating okay got another target here I got a bunch of CDs from Target okay so I I like 80s music and um I got this CD is the best of Eddie Money. Like, I'm not an Eddie Money, Eddie Money fan, but I like some of his songs that, it, like, some of these songs were, like, when I was in middle school. Um, like, um, Take Me Home Tonight and, uh, Walk on Water and Baby Hold On. Those are the three that um, I was like in middle school when those came out. And then I got the um, Now That's What I Call Music 77. And it's got um, a bunch of songs on here that um, I like. So anyway... That's that. Oh, and I'm telling you, um, I cannot wait for that new Harry Connick CD. It's got a lot of, it's got a hymns on it. I cannot wait. I always liked when he would do some hymns, like at his concerts, like, um, Old Rugged Cross and How Great Thou Art. Those two songs are going to be on his new CD, and I cannot wait. I already pre-ordered my CD. I cannot wait. And then there's a new Justin Bieber CD coming out. So I'm going to pre-order that too. I cannot wait. So I got this Taylor Swift. She did another album. Um, this is called Evermore. Now I don't know what it sounds like but hopefully I will like it. And this has a crack in the CD. What is up with Target sending me CDs with cracked cases? And um, I'm at the mall, sitting in the car. So, anyway, I got a pile of CDs that I need to rip. Okay, got another one. Got another Target. CD, and I hope I can open this. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one. This one's kind of... So, I tried to make that Cinnamon Toast Crunch cobbler, and at first, the first bite or two when I took it out, it, was, it tasted good because it was crunchy around the edges, but then when I started eating... Like in the middle of it, the cereal part was kind of stale, you know, chewy. And I, I drained the peaches. I don't know what, what else I, you know, can do. So I ended up, Eric actually liked it, but I ended up throwing it in the trash. Okay, so I ordered the Josh Groban CD not too long ago. Well, guess what? He came out with a deluxe version with six extra songs. I hate when I buy a CD and then a deluxe version comes out. And 
I gotta have the deluxe songs. So there's six extra songs on here. And guess what? The Luke Bryan CD that came out not too long ago. It's gonna have six extra songs on it. So I pre-ordered it. But this is Josh Groban Deluxe. Six extra songs from Target. I hate that. All right, so I'm done opening CDs. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but I had ordered me a Leopard Dooney and Burke purse on, I think, Poshmark. Well, I've been looking for this for a little while. Um, the matching credit card wallet. And it I paid a total of 40 for it um and it's in really clean shape when i find i saw it and I, I snatched it up real fast um and it's you know it's got the little pocket inside with the zipper so i can put coins and paper money and then there's room for gift cards and credit cards and it's not humongous so i got this and it matches perfect to Dooney and Burke. And it's really clean. This is not scuffed up right here. It's nice and clean. So that's that. Okay, so I don't really have a whole lot of stuff this time, but I got an Old Navy thing right here. But yeah, today has just kind of been a boring day. I I went and got breakfast. I've been eating breakfast more in the mornings now since we got Chick-fil-A in Byron. And it's only five minutes from my house. Plus, I had a free chicken biscuit on there that loaded up on there this morning. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to go. So I got this outfit from um, Old Navy. I'm going to wear it tomorrow because it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to wear this new outfit tomorrow. This is a, oh good, it's not a half shirt. This is a sweatshirt from Old Navy. Oh yeah, this will go good. I like this. It's, it's red roses. Then... I got the matching pants and yeah there's not it's, okay so I got the matching pants I can't wait I'm gonna wear this for sure tomorrow so that's gonna be nice to wear tomorrow I'm definitely wearing this so let me tell y'all something so, the other night, Eric and I, we were watching, um, Name That Tune, and one of the songs that was played was No Doubts, I'm Just a Girl, and I knew it right off the bat what the song was, and Eric's like, never heard of it, I don't know that song, I'm like, what? You've never heard I'm Just a Girl? Like, Eric, no doubt. I'm like, he's like, never heard of it. And he's never heard of No Doubt either. I'm like, what? You know what? I'm not even surprised. Because Eric, he didn't even know about the Bad Boys movies. Okay? I'm like, Eric, are you kidding me? Do you know Gwen Stefani? Do you know who she is? And he's like, yeah, I know who Gwen Stefani is. I'm like, okay, well, you do know she was in a band, right? No doubt. And he didn't even know that. I'm like, oh, what is, oh, man, Eric. Oh, he's killing me, man. So... I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give him a hard time about that because 
No doubt. Like, the clue of the song was 1995. Um, so I knew, you know, I knew it was a song from 1995. And, um, but, like, oh, Eric, oh, my word. Well, I'm a little bit older than Eric, so a lot of times he don't know about some things. Like, sometimes, like, he wasn't even born when a certain program or song or movie has, you know, been out, like, because I'm a little bit older than Eric. In case y'all didn't know that. Um, but yeah. So I sent him the link. To I'm Just a Girl. So he would know the song. I, I cannot believe he didn't know that song. Like. Oh my gosh. Oh Eric. A lot of times I'm just like. Oh Eric. What am I going to do with you? So yeah, I, and then there's some things I'm surprised that he knows about. Oh, anyway, so I have a, another Old Navy pa package here. Um, I don't even remember. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, I got a couple of shirts. I got a... TLC shirt, baby. TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yes. I love these retro shirts. Man, it like brings me back to high school. And like I said, I'm sitting in the mall parking lot. I'm not being bothered today. There's nobody here today. Because it looks like it's going to rain. So nobody's out. And then I got another shirt. This shirt. Is. A. Friends shirt. From Old Navy. I don't know if you can see it. It's a friend shirt. From Old Navy. And Eric told me that he has a big band practice this week. So guess what that means? I'm going to have an evening to myself. Yes. Yes. Whoop. Okay. I bought me... A new bathing suit. Um, I hope this fits. Ooh, okay. It's the black bottoms. Black bottoms. I might have to send them back. And then I got a leopard top to go with it. A leopard top for the summer. It's that time again. I don't know what I'm going to do about a swimming pool. But we need to start thinking about that because it's almost that time again. I can't believe it's March. I don't have a lot of trash this time around. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Marley Lily. I came across this website on like Instagram, you know, that they have like pop pop ups, you know, like ads that pop up for things. And this place, Marley Lily, they do really cute like monogrammed stuff like jewelry, t shirts, and shoes. So, and I got, I had a really good deal. I got Um, I had to get a free pair of earrings, and with a hundred dollar order, I got a free leopard bag. Ooh, this is nice, and it has my initials on it. This is nice. 
Look at that. Move that out of the way. This is nice. Oh, wow. That is nice. Oh, because my stuff's inside that I have ordered. Um. Wow. Nice. Um, trying to get situated. Excuse me. So, here is, I got this shirt. This leopard shirt with my name. Ooh, nice. With my initials on it. I hope this fits. Oh, yeah. It's got my initials. Wow, that is nice. Oh, yeah, this will fit. Where is... There, I have some stuff that's not in here. Where is it? It better be... Let me see here. Let me see. Where is... Let me just put this in here. Hope the other stuff's in here. That's gonna be a bummer. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. I got some jewelry too. Oh, and guess what? Today it's like 70 degrees, and Eric had the heat blasting in the house <sighs> like because he doesn't go outside so he doesn't know what it feels like outside and when I get home I guarantee it's gonna be blasting oh this is really nice oh wow this is a bracelet oh this is cool it's like leopard and then it's got my initials that is nice look at that that is cool so i try to do like when i order things like this i try to do the free stuff get the all the deals i can get you know i'm gonna put this in here and then i got some free little earrings I don't like them. I'll probably give them to somebody. I don't like them. But they were free. These little hearts. I'm not going to wear that. But they were free. I'll just give them as a gift. But it's called, this website's called Marley, Marley Lily. And they got a lot of cute stuff. And then, I'm trying to think. Okay. Oh, okay. I got a necklace, too. Um, let me open this necklace. This looks cool. This is cool, too. Ooh, I'm getting hot in here. Oh, this is cute. It's, um, it's a long necklace. And then it's got a leopard little charm. And then there's my initials on that. So, there's that. I like this stuff. This is some cool stuff. Now, I ordered these shoes. These tennis shoes. I hope they fit. Again, it it's hard with the sizes. You know, because on some shoes, you know, I wear different size on some shoes. So, I'm fixing to look at these shoes. Oh. Oh, my. Ooh, I like these. These are leopard. And my initials are right here. Ooh, I love them. Oh, man, these are awesome. I like these. I'm going to have to... Definitely, these are nice. Hopefully, these fit. I forgot.
forgot. Oh, I got sevens. I hope they fit. Because I don't think they had half sizes. That's why I got the sevens. I hope they fit. But anyway, this is from Marley Lily. Y'all should check this out. Because they got a lot of cute stuff. I had to control myself from ordering a bunch of stuff. I did good. I spent like $100. So that is that on everything, I think. Yep, that's it. That's the haul for today. I had a package I've been waiting on. Uh, it's an LSU uh, a, a Tervis stainless steel LSU cup. And it's a 30 ouncer. Um, but it it supposedly is in, in my mailbox right now. So I'll have to take a picture of that. So last weekend, last Saturday... Well, since Eric's been working at home, he's been wanting to go do things on the weekends. So, and he's killing me with the eating out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He wants to go out to eat. He's like, what are we going to eat? And I'm like, oh man, I'm not even thinking about food. I'm tired of eating. I'm not even hungry right now. <coughs> so... So anyway, Saturday, we went, we tried the Cake and Shake place, finally. They, let me just say, they, Cake and Shake, y'all need to get it together over there. I just, I don't know about Cake and Shake, because they, it's expensive. We spent for two shakes, two, not even regular, like, not even big hot dogs, but just regular little tiny hot dogs. With some chili on it um 40 bucks plus a tip he left a tip i mean and the hot dogs were like six bucks and i thought okay we're gonna get like a big you know extreme hot dog you know a big old you know hot dog you know for six bucks you know no it was just a little regular size little wimpy hot dog that was like two or three bites um with some chili on it and cheese yeah i i don't know you know when places like this open up in town you know hmm, you just don't know if it's gonna work out i mean we got a place a new place that's gonna open up <coughs> here in centerville called uh Wrap, wrapping kebab. It's like a Mediterranean place, like Greek food. And um, I hope that place is good when it opens. But uh, Cake and Shake, I don't know. I mean, it's expensive. I mean, I don't know, Cake and Shake. Y'all need to get it together. Y'all need to get it together. Because, like, we had to wait 20 minutes. And we got our hot dogs and we ate our hot dogs and and then but we we were done eating our hot dogs and we didn't have our shake or nothing to drink and we're so we we're done my mouth was on fire because i got the chipotle hot dog and we didn't have no drinks we were waiting for our shakes i mean the shake was good but i mean two shakes and two hot dogs for $40 uh, I don't know man and then when Eric you know was paying for the food they had to reboot their computer the register and it was taking forever to do the um paying for the food so I don't know just, uh, cake and shake y'all need to get together and the music was really loud in there too I could, and I'm not just, I'm not saying that because I'm being an old, old person saying that. No, it was, I mean, Eric, he was complaining about the music being loud because you couldn't, like, hear to talk. So, I don't know. Y'all can try steak and, I mean, a uh, cake and shake, but I, I don't think I'm going to go there a lot because it's expensive. So, we went there. 
before lunch. And then Eric wanted to go see a movie. So I let him pick it. We went and saw Tom and Jerry. <coughs> that was Eric's pick, not mine. We just wanted to go do something. So I was dozing off during a movie, but um, there's just nothing playing right now. And it's, it's really frustrating because all the movies that I want to see are going straight to like Amazon Prime and uh, Apple TV and like streaming. And we don't get that at my house. We don't do the streaming. Like I want to see that new um, Coming to America 2 movie, but it's going straight to stinking Amazon so, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to see it. And then, there was a movie that was supposed to come out last, I think, April or May. With, um, that guy, um, Dave Batista. I think he's a wrestler. It's him and his little girl. It's called, um, My Spy. And I've been wanting to see that one. And I can't. It's just a bummer. But now, when we went to go see Tom and Jerry, I was like, okay, I better not get harassed about wearing a mask. I was I'm, I was waiting for it, but I, I didn't. I didn't get harassed. Um, So, that was a win-win. So, then afterwards, after the movie, I attempted... To go and walk over to the mall. I know you're thinking, what? You went over in the mall? I haven't been in the mall. I've only been in the mall. That was my, Saturday was my third time to go in the mall. Since they uh, opened since, back up since the uh, lockdown. And I only went, I walked over to Bath and Body Works. I already knew what I was going to get over there. I went in the mall when they first opened up back up in the summer. I think it was like June or something. Because Bath and Body Works, I had to return something. I wasn't even going to shop. I was just going to return something. Then the second time I went to Bath and Body Works was this last December. It was before New Year's. So it was like in December. Because they had a sale on something that I wanted. So I went in specifically for that that one section of the store. That aromatherapy stuff. and Because it, it was on sale that day. So I went in that day. I just got it and left. So yesterday. I mean not yesterday. But Saturday. I had got an email that the aromatherapy was on sale that day and plus Eric gave me a $25 gift card for Valentine's Day and Bath and Body Works they went up on their prices it's ridiculous now a body wash is $15.50 and the lotion is $15.50 and the spray or the spray is $15. It's just ridiculous. So I went in there and it just so happened Friday I got some coupons in the mail for 20% off and a free item. So I thought well after the movie I'm going to just walk over there and go in there. I didn't want to be tra traipsing all over the mall so, and it was, it was ridiculous. I mean, I was so wore out just walking in there. Because number one, my, my foot has been acting up again and it's, it was swollen. See, that's what happens when you get to be in your 40s. Things don't work. And your body parts don't work. So, I, well, luckily... One of my, my friend was working, so she was helping me. Um, but and they had a stinking line, 
they, they were only letting a certain amount of people in the store. It's so stupid. It doesn't even matter. There's a lot of people in there anyway, so I don't, I don't understand the point in that. That social distance in it really is ridiculous. Like, I walked into the mall, and everybody's wearing a mask like a bunch of robots. It's so ridiculous. I, and so I just went, got in there. I only had to wait like five minutes, thank goodness. So I went in there, got got what I needed, and got out of there. And I am not going back to the mall. I just wanted to spend my $25. And I did have to spend some more of my money because they raised their prices in Bath & Body Works. So that's what I did on Saturday. a loud motorcycle but I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all what I did on Saturday and open up the last little bit of my packages um, and I am gonna try to make that cobbler again and I'll see how it tastes so <coughs> anyway y'all need to go check out my other videos and, um, yeah, and if y'all go try Cake and Shake, tell me how you liked it. I mean, my, my, my shake was good. Eric got the, I think Eric got the, the 16 ounce shake. I got the 12 ouncer. And mine, mine was a strawberry one with, it had like a cupcake, a full-size cupcake on it. It was good. It tasted like strawberry shortcake. And then Eric's shake had a full-size cupcake and a full-size piece of cheesecake on it. And it looked good. But if y'all want to buy an expensive $10 shake and a little wimpy six, seven dollar hot dog, go to Cake and Shake. So, um, anyway, I hope y'all had a good day, and, uh, I'll be back later to look for some more stuff, and I'm gonna log off.